Hey guys, it's Sammy and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, so here I am saying hi to you guys. I am hoping to make videos more often, more frequently. So this video is a little different. On March 29th, I turned 20 years old and I thought I'd make this video telling you 20 things I learned in 20 years. First of all, can we take a moment to realize that I've been alive for two decades? I feel so old that I'm not even allowed to legally drink yet. Like what? <laughs> what? I feel old. Every time my cat walks on the bed, the camera shakes. So please stop. So this video is also very exciting to me for another reason. I've been wanting to start a blog for a little while now and I've had the website for a while and I just haven't done anything with it. But I finally uploaded my first blog post and so this video is based off of that blog post. So if you want more details, go ahead, click the link in my description. It'll take you directly to the blog post. And you can play around with my website, it's brand new. Let me know what you think. Anyways, let's get started. So number one is People who do you wrong can make you grow. I feel like this is an important mindset to have because people will do you wrong no matter what. No matter who you are, you're gonna be wronged by someone. I haven't talked about it a lot online just because I didn't know how, but here I am saying it a little bit. Um, years ago, I was in an abusive relationship and you know, in a very condensed and short story version, uh, it made me grow. As a person, I became more independent. I became a stronger person because of it. Not that it was a good thing that happened. I couldn't control what happened, but make yourself grow as a person because of the things that happened to you. Number two is very obvious, I feel like. Um, pets can change your life. I don't know where I'd be without Momo, my cat, and I'm not a cat person at all. <laughs> Number three is don't try to conform to society's expectations. Stop stressing about what normal is. Whether you have extremely high or extremely low metabolism, whether you have huge eyebrows or thin ones, whether you have weird ears or not, um, <laughs> it's not a big deal. It really isn't. There's no such thing as normal, really. There's no one perfect person. If you're happy with yourself, then that's all you need. Number four is coffee is everything. This last term, I drank so much coffee to help me get through my history class. <laughs> coffee brings me happiness and energy all in one, and what else can you ask for besides that? Number five is a little bit of a bigger one. Uh, exercise if you want, eat if you want. This needs a little bit of an explanation, so I'll throw it in here. I go back and forth on my self-image constantly. I feel like a lot of people do. So one day I'll be totally happy with how I look, and the next day I'll just be not. <laughs> and when I'm feeling not good about myself, I'll usually go to drastic measures to try to correct that. So while exercising is healthy, you can overdo it extremely. That's what happened to me. I overexercised and I hurt my knee years ago and it still hurts me to this day. And of course, I've done a lot of different diets. <laughs> For a while, I was eating under a thousand calories a day trying to lose weight. And honestly, the only thing that I lost was my mind. My rule for myself now is everything in moderation. I just try to live in the healthiest form I can without completely restricting myself from foods or activities. Number six is it's okay to be selfish sometimes. I think I struggle with this a little bit. I have a hard time trying to figure out how to implement this into my life a little bit more without being mean, but it doesn't make it any less true. You should still think about putting yourself first, thinking about yourself way more often. Number seven is Time alone is time well spent. Yes, I am an introvert, but I think this can apply to a lot of people out there. If you're happy by yourself, then you can be happy anywhere. That's not completely true, but you know, let's just say it is. Sorry, it's starting to rain, so you might hear it a little bit. Number eight is nature is my antidepressant. A lot of you guys know that I have struggled with depression in the past and I will continue to struggle with it. It's me. <laughs> Well, in high school, I went to the Columbia River Gorge on a geology field trip, and you had to wade through this water. And that's only totally happened to me on this trip. And I just realized that how much I love nature. I've always loved nature. I love going out and hiking and doing random stuff. Before the trip, I was in a pretty dark place, but right after, I felt so much better. Obviously, it doesn't compare to real antidepressants if you really need them, but I know it's something that could really help me. However, I call it my antidepressant because it can lift my mood incredibly from the darkest places. I got my tattoo to remind myself that no matter how bad I'm feeling, there's options for me to feel better. Number 10, sometimes you need to do something crazy. I play everything safe. If you know me, I am not a rule breaker at all. I plan out everything too, but sometimes, I get this impulse to do something and I don't ignore it. Yeah, you may crash and burn. Yeah, 
as possible, but also might be like the best decision you've ever made. Momo, my cat, was an impulse decision. Just because it happened to work out for me doesn't mean it's gonna work out for you. I do not recommend getting a pet on impulse. One of the best decisions I've ever made, but I do not re recommend it because <laughs> there's a lot of things that could go wrong there. Number 11, keep a planner. My life changed when I started doing my bullet journal. Number 12, long distance relationships are doable. Even though mine didn't work out, <laughs> doesn't mean that all won't work out. In my opinion, you just need the end game plan like when are you finally gonna be together for good number 13 college is not the best segment of your life this can't be it this cannot be it if this is the highlight of my life then I have a very disappointing ride in front of me <laughs> number 14 reading is amazing if you need to escape to another world a good book a hot cup of tea and a nice candle will get you there number 15 you do not need to have it all figured out I'm about to finish my second year in college and I don't think I know a single soul that has it figured out. Everyone's in the same boat of who the hell knows. Number 16, failing is okay as long as you learn from it. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory, but I like the quote of the one that falls and gets back up is way stronger than the one that never fell. Number 17, have a safe space. It's just a space where you can come in, throw away the thoughts of the day, and be completely comfortable. Decorate your space with fairy lights, candles, whatever you want, and keep it organized. Number 18, go on adventures. Some of the best memories I have are exploring an area that I have not explored, going to state parks, traveling, just doing stuff I've never done before. Number 19, your parents are right 99% of the time. Number 20 is be passionate and don't be embarrassed about it. Love what you love and don't let anyone let you feel like it's wrong or stupid. As long as you're not hurting anyone and it's not illegal, then just do it. Be proud of your passions. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you wanna hang out with me between uploads, go ahead and check out my social medias. I'll be right over here. Also, don't forget to check out my new blog. I am so excited to finally show you guys and I'm a little nervous, but I'm mostly excited. Like I said, the blog post is everything I talked about today, but in more detail. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tap that bell for notifications because I post every week. I'm going to be posting every week. I feel like I've been saying that for so long. I love you to the end of space and back. Bye.